Bosnia means home. Means family. Affection. And care for feelings. Bosnia means love. Means beauty. Means small details. Bosnia is a beautiful set of emotions that remains engraved in the hearts. Even after many years. Bosnia means peace. Humanity and forgiveness. Bosnia means beauty. A magic combination of colors of every tone. For these reasons, it's inevitable to return here, no matters how long or how far you get. Bosnia. Here we go again. Hello everyone, and welcome to a new video, my name is AI Shams and I am the new member of Bez Rules. Yes, you guessed it my voice is way better than him. Anyway, in today's video we will take you with us, on a beautiful tour in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In this first part we will try to cover the capital city, Sarajevo. In today's video, I will not only show you the most important monuments of Sarajevo, but also I will give you a brief about their history. You can't come to Sarajevo, without visiting the old city, Bashtarshia. I am sorry I can't pronounce it properly. So do most of foreign people anyway. The first thing you will probably see is the Sabil, where it serves as a major symbol of the city. It's an Ottoman-style wooden fountain. Located in Bashtarshia Square. The original one, built by Mohammed, Pasha, Kukavika, in 1753, was several meters away from where Sibili stands now. But was knocked down after being damaged during a fire. It was relocated by Austrian architect Alexander Wittek in 1891. Legend says, if you drink from it, you will definitely return to Sarajevo again. Not far from the Sabil stands Havaja, Darak Mosque or known as Bashtarshia Mosque. It is not known exactly when the mosque was built. But a manuscript from 1528 mentions a neighborhood around Havaja Darak Masjid. So the mosque must have been built before that year. The mosque was badly damaged during the last war of 1992, after which it underwent a major reconstruction. The official opening ceremony of the 5th century Ottoman legacy, took place on August 27, 2021, by the Turkish president himself. The most outstanding features of the mosque are its acoustics and hand-drawn details that adorn its interior. Unfortunately, I was not able to see the interior due to the virus restrictions. Several meters away from Barshtarshia Mosque, stands another Othman legacy. The Ghazi Huzrev Beg Mosque, built in 1531 by the Bey Ghazi Huzrev. Who was by the way, the governor of Bosnia at that time, and the grandson of Sultan Bayezid II. The mosque was part of the Beg's endowment, which also included a maktab and a madrasa, a marketplace, a hammam etc. It is the largest historical mosque in Bosnia and Herzegovina and one of the most representative Ottoman structures in the Balkans. This mosque, as well, was the first mosque in the world to receive electricity during the Austrian-Hungarian period. Alright I get it. You maybe start to feel bored of history. It's maybe time for Bosnsko or a tasty Shivapi. And yes as expected, there are plenty of beautiful cafe shops and authentic restaurants in the area. We don't have a specific recommendation. Because most of them are really good. But, make sure to try the traditional Bosnian food.
If you're looking for handcrafted gifts, souvenirs, or antiquities, then you came to the right place. Among its myriad of winding alleys and wooden shop fronts, you'll find a wide mosaic of beautifully crafted goods at reasonable prices. Directly connected to Sarashi Street, flows organically the part of Sarajevo that still preserves Austro-Hungarian heritage and its architecture. Lined with shops, boutiques, restaurants, and cafes, the street is a busy modern shopping area. Sarajevo is called the Jerusalem of Europe for a reason. In less than two minutes walk you can see. The old Jewish temple, also known as the old synagogue dated by the end of the 16th century. 6th century for Hadia, or also known as the Furhat Pasha Mosque. And the Sacred Heart Cathedral, which is the biggest church in Bosnia and Herzegovina, dated from 1887. Speaking of churches, Sarajevo is also home to the Holy Archangels Michael and Gabriel, also known as a St. Tekla Church, or just, the Old Church. This church could be the oldest temple in all Bosnia, dating from the 6th century. However, it was first mentioned in the 15th century in Othman sources. This temple is ranked among the first five in the world in terms of quality and value of the icon. Not very far from that, and on the other side of Malatska River, stands another iconic building. Which is by the way very underrated. The Emperor's Mosque. Dated from 1447 by Isa Beg, Isakov Aisha, the founder of Sarajevo. This mosque is the first in Bosnia and Herzegovina. In less than 15 minutes walk from the old city, you can enjoy a beautiful tour in the iconic cable cars of Sarajevo. The cable cars are connecting the old part of the city with the mountain Trebovish. The return ticket will cost you now about 10 euros, and 5 euros only if you are a Bosnian citizen. The view from there speaks for itself. The number of landmarks in Sarajevo is countless. Every corner of this city tells a story. It's really impossible to cover them all in a single video or even a single visit. Here are some of them. Sarajevo War Tunnel, which helped to resist the 1425 day siege of the city. The City Hall. Sarajevo Olympic bobsleigh and luge track. The Yellow Fortress, where you can enjoy a panoramic view of the city. The ruins of Yelishan and Barstarshia. The Eternal Flame. Kolo Barahan Cafe and Restaurant, which is dated as old as the city. Vrelu Bosnia Park. And the list is really long. Please, list your favorite in the comments section down below. Let's end here the first episode of our trip to Bosnia. I hope you enjoy it. And hope to see you in the next one. Stay tuned. By the way, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button, and if you haven't done yet, kindly subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.